Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome back to another speed build video. After seeing the new objects that came with the free update yesterday to celebrate the year of the pig, I knew I just had to use them in a build so I decided to do a house that was inspired by those of the traditional type in China and I think it turned out pretty decent. I did give the interior a slight modern twist to it while keeping the outside relatively traditional. I did this because I have built two Asian inspired homes I believe in the past for this channel and it would be boring if I just kept doing the same type of build with like the traditional exterior, traditional interior. So I decided to give this one a more modern, a slight modern twist to it rather. And I think it turned out pretty cool in the end. I was still able to use all of the new objects. But anyway, if you can see right now, there's the there's this like hollow section in the middle which ends up being a cool little bamboo zen kind of garden. Not really zen garden because I'm pretty sure that's a Japanese thing. But it's like a garden where you can do some meditation a little like meditation and just it's just really calm i guess so i saw i looked at a few chinese homes on the internet and some of them had lots of like, well most of them had at least some kind of garden in it so i decided to be a little bit more creative and have this kind of like central garden i'm not i'm pretty sure it's not creative and it's just it exists in china and it, it's actually a real design thing but I thought it would be a cool idea to have like some kind of opening in the middle where there's like this garden where you can sit at with like corridors on either side of it which goes to two parts of the house so basically one side of the house is the bedrooms and a bathroom and then the other side is the kitchen living and dining area i did have an open plan living though because this is meant to be a renovated home so i know that if they were going to renovate it a little bit they probably would add some modern design elements to it so that's why I made it open plan living. But apart from that, there's a lake to the side of the house, which goes in at the very end. And there's also a back area, which is fairly empty because I didn't want to put too much on the exterior since that will break the immersion of it being like a traditional home. Even though if you go inside, it will kind of break the immersion of a traditional Chinese home. But I think I wanted to maintain the exterior because I feel like even if someone was to renovate this house to be modern on the inside, I think that what, since it's a pretty like traditional looking home, I don't think they'd want to like ruin the aesthetic of the house. So that's basically my made up reason as to why I didn't change up the interior or I didn't change up the exterior so much. And also one thing I really like, which is kind of weird, but one thing I really like is the fact that you can see the bamboo in the middle of the house from the outside when looking at the house. For some reason, there's just something about that that looks really cool. And just seeing trees appear out from the middle of the house, it's just kind of like interesting to me. And I do put some cherry trees down as well. And just the landscaping happens at the very end, basically. And it's just makes it look a little bit more traditional lots of terry trees a bit of bamboo and a lot more plants as well along the pathways because right now as it is the pathway looks kind of bare even with the rocks and i was so happy that i was finally able to use these windows from world i'm uh, not world adventures oh my goodness i'm thinking about china so i'm thinking about world adventures from sims 3 but yeah from jungle adventure i was so happy to be able to use the windows finally since i don't think i've ever used these hollow windows before like I feel like the the windows from Jungle Adventure do fit like the Chinese aesthetic a little bit better than some of the other windows in the game like I did at the start if you saw I did try and use some other kinds of windows but none of them worked but these ones somewhat worked and they had nice swatches so I thought <laughs> might as well use them right and they did have like various shapes and sizes of the same color scheme so as you can see there's I used like the Windows that look like doors, but are more like shutter kind, like it's like a shutter kind of window, which I think looked pretty cool. And I feel like it is kind of similar, like I pretended there'd be like sliding doors or something and it turned out pretty cool in the end. And as you can see, the corridors do appear to be open. I do, I'm just going to pretend that there is some kind of like shutter on the inside where you can close and open because it would be kind of weird just having this like open corridor that just would let all the hot or cold air in if it's winter or something or sunlight. It would pretend that just have a, some just pretend that there's some sort of shutter there. But anyway, as you can see the furnishings of the house are fairly bodded. I do play around with the color schemes and in the end I do go for like a really black and red color scheme with hints of white. Well obviously lots of white as well since the walls stay white but I do use some white objects as well, but for the most part it is black and red because I saw the table and 
I thought, oh my goodness, the black and red, the, the black table looks pretty cool. Might as well have the red theme playing with it as well and just combine the black and red color scheme. I'm pretty sure like that is part of like the traditional celebratory color in China as well. So black, red, I'm just guessing that from the objects that came with the new update. But I know red is one of the colors that they use a lot in China for decorations and celebrations because I'm pretty sure like red is a lucky color or something. We are now messing with a more modern aesthetic now with like the modern furniture and more like the clean looking furniture. But as you can see, I do keep the Chinese theme prominent as well by using some of the new objects as well as a nice like like floor, like the rugs. I don't think I've ever used this rug before and it looked pretty cool. So I thought, hey, why not use it right? Because it looked pretty like Asian themed as well. And it was really red and that's exactly what I wanted because we don't really have many nice looking red rugs in the game yet. Like some of the red ones are okay, I guess, but there's not many nice ones to pick from. We're placing more of the Chinese decorations down and honestly, some of them are so cool and I just see myself using them for just everyday builds. Like, like the table, some of the swatches don't have many like decorations on them, like the decorative like characters and designs. So I feel I see myself using them in just regular builds because this I think that's the first regular indoor circular table for base game because I know like Laundry Day has a circular table and Jungle Adventure has a circular table, but I don't think base game had one. And I'm, I'm glad that they finally added that in so that for my, I think I might do a base game build soon, but for my base game build, I might actually use the circular table because it's so cool. And I think it it's pretty modern as well, which is mainly the reason why I decided to do a more modern themed house because some of the objects do a good job at fitting in with the modern aesthetic. So you see that box on the accent table? Like I, fit, I can see that fitting in with like a modern aesthetic, which is why I chose that in the end. I don't think I talked about like the bedrooms and stuff yet. So this is a two bedroom house and I think we will be moving on to that very shortly. And there is a bathroom on this end of the house, but on the bedroom end, I believe there is an ensuite. So yeah, basically we're just decorating now. I do come back later and decorate the kitchen though because for some reason I like basically forget to clutter the kitchen and I don't actually do anything to it. I think I add like one thing to it and just move on for some reason. But, oh wait, no, we have to do the bathroom first. Oh my goodness. I'm forgetting this. I built this yesterday and I've already I'm already forgetting the order of things. But basically this bathroom, it's quite modern. It's just generic because I didn't want to like have this massive like weird red bathroom rent out of nowhere. I think the other bathroom I do use some red elements but in the end I just kept the bathrooms quite simple because after all this is a renovated home and this it's not going to be Chinese New Year for the entire day or the, for the entire time that the sims are living here so maybe when you, your sims move here they could celebrate like New Year's like this and then they can just change up the decorations a little bit and make it less red maybe. So I decided to make it look like at least some of the decorations was temporary because no one's celebrating like Winterfest all year or New Year all, all year or anything like that. So yeah, that's basically why some of the rooms may not be like completely red and New Year themed. But anyway, obviously we need somewhere for The Sims to study. So I did put like a small desk and in the opposite end of the corridor, there will be just a bookshelf because I don't know what else could I have put there. But anyway, I think we are about to start on the bedrooms now and this this house actually has three bathrooms. For some reason, I forgot that. So there's actually a bathroom on the main area of the house and then there's a regular bathroom on the bedroom side of the house and there's also an ensuite. So this house has three bathrooms. I don't know why on earth I did that, but I guess the one near the kitchen could be like the guest bathroom and then the bathroom in the ensuite is obviously, well, the ensuite is obviously for the master bedroom. And then just the other bathroom could just be for like the person living in the regular bedroom, I guess. But bedrooms end up being fairly modern in terms of design. I do use some like nice looking furniture from Seasons and from City Living as well. Although the City Living stuff, some of them are like more Jap like more styled towards the Japanese aesthetic. I do believe that some of them do a pretty good job at just being a nice generic Asian themed design. So in the end, I decided to use those for this Chinese build as well. But I think basically like there is, that's basically all there is to this house. Like I, the outside area, as I said, has like a lake, has a nice little Zen garden in the middle of the house as well. There's like a yoga like section as well. So you could do some yoga and I do put some 
just like decorations here and there in the garden as well just to break it up a little bit because we wouldn't want just all plants and all bamboo so I did put I did put like some plant pots as well just randomly but anyway I think I'll just leave you guys off here there will be screenshots at the very end of this speed build so if you like to see those definitely stay tuned but anyway I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video if you'd like to find this build on the gallery it will be up as Chinese inspired home thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye guys